Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? By the way, Mr. New Hampshire, cell phone on the outside, full name. Thanks, man, you make it a lot easier. This one just showed up. Anyways, I hope everybody's getting ready for uh, the new year. Made a lot of DX contacts today. Seems like the uh, propagation's changed a little bit out there in the atmosphere. Idea what this is. Heavy. Good pack job. N4 or 98, something of that nature. Let's get it opened up. It's the second one that's made it so far, packed like that. I know you guys are shipping them a lot cheaper to me that way, but shipping is going to be more on the way back. I, I can't ship them like that. Wish I could. You know, we pay the post office, EPS, FedEx, to be responsible for our freight, but it doesn't work the way we'd like it to. Good job on packing the face of it. It made it. I guess if you don't have the original box, this is how you would do it. I'll show the face too. You had a whole bunch of plastic in the front. And what do we got? Chrome bezel looks like a 98. Just toss this aside for now. this back in the box. You don't need to send these guys and girls, okay? Hang on to them. I don't want to lose them. I don't need them. Just the radio is much better off for both of us. <clears throat> Sometimes it gets hard to keep track of everything that's in the box. The radio is not a problem. I have a cycle. Let's get some tape on it. been a lot of these lately. And fours and twos. There was no note. It's always cool if you leave me a note if there's any kind of unusual problem that you're experiencing. If I have to look, for, I'm not going to be looking for specific things unless you give me a note that, for instance, is floating on frequency or you hit a bump or you know you sound muffly. Well, the muffly part, terrible receive. I know what that's about. Anyways, let's pull this out of here and put a 500 in. I didn't hear anything rattling or shaking.
power's not working at all. Let's figure that part out. But uh, without even looking at this, the uh, spectrum analyzer, you can look at the waveform. See it? There, let's zoom on in there. I don't want to keep that key too long. See, any form of distortion causes. There's more to it than that, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Out of band. Let's see. A lot of different issues. I'm not sure why the RF power isn't working yet, but yeah, that's nasty. Let's uh, do a quick check. The fans are working, they don't seem to be destroyed. But, you look at the meter, I'm not sure who was in it, it's a little over a 50 watt carrier, not even this one doesn't modulate backwards, it does to a point, the carrier's too high as you can see, backwards, but as we come forward, this is all distortion kill that top back it's bleeding over now this one isn't setting off my uh, heat gun my rework station it's more than likely why the other one the last one I just showed was it was open the type of connector this is the last night of that I just showed the type of connector that was on it that was exposed that little tiny bit that little bit, look it up, the next 98 down. So I think it says hot air gun. And I didn't manipulate the radio in any way, you know, by setting it there. I just set it there so I get it in the video. And uh, when I first started doing the video, I'm like, what the hell? What's wrong with my heat gun? Shit, great. Now I got something else to fix or replace, you know. And then it, I, it hit me when I keyed it. It was turning it on, but this is controlled by a magnetic switch. See, it's on. See the lights, they look both, well, they're red, actually. And then I set it back down. Only the one is on. Now it has to go through the cycle, cool itself off. That light will go out, all right? See it going off? Anyways, the RF, that little tiny bit that's exposed in the other video, on the other radio where it was real short, was allowing the RF to get into this wire. If this wire's in anything like close to three foot increments, then, you know, it's going, and that looks like three foot, then it's gonna be resonant and pick up that signal. Anyways, we won't get into all that. Uh, this one don't do that. Let's see how it's receiving. Like I've said time and time again, if the transmit looks like this, there ain't no need to check, see even if it's on frequency. Or the receive, but ah, what the heck? Let's go for the gusto. Let's 
squelch off, fire of gain wide open, 27205. Turn that off so we can hear it. Plug that in. The external speaker jacks broke. Okay, now this. Alright, that being broken, that's a cheap part. One of the most expensive things you're going to repair on a radio. It's time. The way that, I mean, you just can't replace this. You got to take the board out to put that in. Don't break those. See it? It's broken. So, let's see. On a 10, it's like 102, and a whole bunch of noise. Right. You'll notice that some people just try to show you the tone or listen to this. It's all noise. I got some other videos explaining more. And by the way, it's been called to my attention. Some guys say, well, look at this. It hears like this. So many dB down, 12, and it does this and that. Well, if they don't show you this part right here, and they only show you this, if they can't show you that, that part there, who's to say what it is? So now we'll turn the volume up. See it reading? The only important part, I can turn that off so we don't have to listen to it, of a sign that test is you being able to see this part here. If they tell you something like right here, it doesn't mean anything. Nothing. If they can't show you a certification and calibration and show you everything all at the same time, they're stroking you! <laughs> Literally! Got it? Hey! Uh, like many people have told me, the hard drive, that's the Bible of CB radio. And what they mean is below the video description says click show more, read it, study it. It doesn't matter if it's a video or you're in person with that shop or tech. Read it, study it, take it to bed with you, chisel it in stone, all right? All right, so it kind of hears. Let's take a look on the inside. This, I'm kind of sad to see this part, man. Mr. New Hampshire, that sucks. There's no way around it. Trust me. I don't want to charge you to do it, and I don't want to do it, but there's no way around it. There's no quick fix. So you guys are jamming them in your hole, or whatever you're doing, don't. I mean, sh I know, shit happens, I know, I, I hate it, Murphy, you know, gravity and Murphy can be a real pain, you can try the hardest that you want to be careful, and... oops, I backed into that sign, damn it, <laughs> shit happens, I know, but that's expensive, okay? Something that simple is it's not. It's a cheap little part. See, it's not busted loose here. Well, hold on, I'll show you. It's not broken loose there. It's the plastic that's broken. See? This is something that I resolder on new radios, old radios, it doesn't matter. It's just something that I've done so many, many tens of thousands of radios it's a common thing but that's busted here see this one my luck your luck if I send it back without replacing it or fixing it it would start screwing up on you and then what good is it if you don't have a speaker All right, what do we got going on here and guess sometimes it's hard to find broken coils you actually have to adjust them because if someone broke them with a screwdriver, you can't tell. 
until you actually adjust them. That one might be, but that's on receive. Maybe not. Doesn't seem like it. I don't really see anything wrong with the radio. At all whatsoever. But it's extremely dirty. It doesn't look like anything's been done to it. Let's take a look inside of here. That was pretty loose. These have been off before. looks 100% factory and again that's this is just by looking at it quickly sometimes we can tell if the culprit strictly the amplifier let's see and a, a lot of the 98's the amp versus the Ranger amp yeah same part number etc but they're not the same it's like quality control or something, I'm not sure. Alright. And sometimes it's uh, just the wiring, how the wiring was routed. This appears to be nothing but factory. And it looks like the AMC circuit is still all intact. We'll find out. Yep. But nasty. So what we'll do is turn the amp off by just connecting it. And the radio is dirty. So is the amp. So that's the radio by itself, okay? It's a 30 megahertz span, let's go to one kilohertz. See, it doesn't appear to be that bad there, but knowing what you're looking at, you can see this here, especially to the right, that is spreading out pretty good. So, for instance, we look at it at 30 kilohertz, then uh, it's pretty rough. It's splattering if you connect an amplifier to it. Then you have something like this. See, when you guys hook up amps with a dirty radio, that's what I'm doing. And that's already dirty. Some people say, oh, that's not bad. I'm an engineer. I don't know what kind of engineer. Surely not an RF engineer. That's got a pretty good nick in it right there. It should be okay for a while. Uh, let's take a look. 30 megahertz again. Take a good picture with your eyes. Now we'll hook up the amp again. See the amp See, it's, it's turning this on also. It's that dirty. Considering this is so close. Not as bad as the other radio. But it's dirty. 300. Well, we can substantially clean this thing up doesn't look bad. I like the newer, the newest of the 98's seem to be working the best. This is an old one. Tell by the regulator. Man, it's getting hot.
Yow. Real hot. It will definitely get the max mod. That will help it keep it cooler. And it will check all the transistors. I will be offering on some of these radios the uh, Palomar ERF 2030s. Hope everybody has a, a good uh, Thanksgiving. Stay tuned in. Don't forget to read it and pay attention. It's you guys that have asked me to do these videos and write books and manuals. This is in the 90s and now the time is here. Pay attention. You know what's up. Stay tuned in. It's hard drive. Real grand. Clear. Click, click.